Luck is present in your lives, but you're not aware of it at all. To translate science into policy requires, I think, often uh, an interdisciplinary perspective. A whole load of different applications from things like um, quality testing of water, a load of biomedical diagnostic applications, um, gas sensing. You know. They're just using it, they're trying to get points, they're trying to tick the box, say different diversities, and blah, blah, blah. That's true. You know what? They gave legitimacy to all the LGBT um, uh, volunteers and groups that I work with. To listen to the narrative of each other and of other countries, even if our countries are in war. I also think you need to be able to spot opportunities, so you need to be creative and agile of mind to do that. And I think probably the last thing is a desire to solve problems a sort of curious nature. But at some point you have to be honest with yourself and, and sometimes no amount of time management will correct the fact that you've just got too much to do. Um, and if you find yourself in that situation and it's just really not sustainable, you have to be willing to, to do fewer things. There is a profound connection between what we do in experiment where we look at the, most, at the smallest element of matter and what happens in the cosmos. This consequence Perhaps no Palestinian have uh, seen an Israeli except if he was a soldier. So yeah, you know, and now they saw that Israeli were musicians as well, you know. So you see the human factor, you can see that humans are all loving the same thing. And I think that that helps understanding that, you know, at a certain level we are all human beings, okay. But when you turn the corner, and the wind is in your back and there's a slight incline, you're much more likely to think this is all me. <laughs> this is all me, I'm the one cycling very fast, look how strong I am. For the two seconds that you saw the wind being in your back, you've now completely forgotten. Never mention the word luck, he goes on to say, in the company of self-made men. We're all lucky in some way, shape or form. But my message to you is not to worry about the, the silly sights that one uh, might hear experience along the way or the people who might not take you seriously because you're a woman or a minority or whatever. Uh, my message to you is that success is the best revenge. So don't be derailed by that. Just, just get on and focus yourself um, on your work.